you do on the internet is truly anonymous. In Mobile, three men are facing child pornography charges. Deputies arrested all three men this week. The latest arrest happening just this morning. Our Ashlyn Mitchell joining us in the studio with a breakdown for you. And Ashlyn, it seems the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force locally is working. Yeah, it certainly does, Lenise and Shelby. Although investigators tell me there's still work to be done. Mobile County's ICAC formed last year is just one of 61 task forces nationwide. Today was the first First time I met the three person team and I got a look at what they're doing to protect our local youth. This is Jacob Scott, Larry White and Killian Bell arrested back to back this week in Mobile County. All three are facing multiple child pornography charges. Nobody works in this unit that doesn't really want to be here because it's it's some difficult work and we have to look at some awful stuff. Corporal Cameron Sheffield is one of the Mobile County Sheriff's Office's three full-time Internet Crimes Against Children detectives. The ICAC task force was formed last spring. Um, these are cyber crimes, so they're very technical to investigate. They take a long period of time. A lot of legal process is sent, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of footwork involved in it. Corporal Sheffield credits cyber tips that ultimately led to the arrests of Scott Bell and White. So a cyber tip is some information we received from the National Center of uh, Missing and Exploited Children. They sent us the information um, and it's usually just a tip, minimal information on the front end. We usually then have to follow up with subpoenas and search warrants and some open, for, open source investigations to uh, identify our suspect. Corporal Sheffield says historically white middle-aged men are the most common offenders for this type of crime, but he says that's changing. We're seeing a shift from that. Everybody of, of any age is accessing the internet. Um, child sexual abuse material is becoming more prevalent. Since the birth of ICAC in 2023, Corporal Sheffield says the unit is more critical now than ever. We pushed 106 felonies through the district attorney's office and 33 individual federal indictments resulted from our local investigations. But investigators work is far from over. I'm told they have 36 active open cases here at the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. Brie Viger is the founder of Stopping Traffic, a local nonprofit. As a young girl, she was nearly trafficked by an online predator. She says it's reassuring to know the ICAC is doing what it promised. I say that the number one step is making sure that we have law enforcement officers who, who have the training to ensure that these predators are off the street, that they know what to look for. Um, because once our community members know the warning signs as well and how to report it, uh, we need to make sure that, you know, investigators and detectives know what to do once that report comes in. Now, Jacob Scott has since been released from Metro Jail after posting bond. Killian Bell is in jail right now on no bond. The DA's office tells me he's on probation for another charge, which played a factor in the judge denying him bond this morning. As for Larry White, he remains in jail and his bond hearing is set for Friday. Reporting live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.